It's Tuesday, August 27th, 2013. I'm Adrian Jeffries, and last night I beat Perfect Dark on Perfect Agent, so things are going really well for me. This is 90 Seconds on the Verge. The Galaxy Gear is finally coming. Samsung executive Lee Young-hee confirmed that the smartwatch will be unveiled in an event on September 4th. Lee says the device will be based on Android and feature a, quote, non-flexible display. Interestingly, Lee also hinted that the device is simply an early exploration of a potential market and not intended for mainstream adoption. Apple's iOS 7 update may be arriving on September 10th. That's according to an email allegedly sent by Nuance, a company that works closely with Apple. It is odd, though. September 10th is also the rumored date for Apple's next iPhone event. Historically, Apple has never released an iOS update on the same day. Nuance's email could be referring to the so-called Gold Master version that developers get just before public launch. The company is also widely expected to unveil a gold-tinted iPhone 5S and possibly a cheaper iPhone. And finally, Google isn't the only one trying to make the world of Demolition Man a real thing. Nissan has announced it will have multiple self-driving cars on the market by 2020. The cars will be tested on realistic tracks that, quote, will be used to push vehicle testing beyond the limits possible on public roads to ensure the technology is safe. According to CNBC, the automaker says self-driving technology may hike the cost of luxury automobiles by only $1,000. Now, if we could only get self-driving fixed gears for people living in Brooklyn. That's it for today's top stories. Coming up tomorrow, virtual pants and the awkward explanation when the battery runs out.